Hello everybody, what's going on? Ducklet Schwag is here today with another Sony Vegas tutorial, and I would just like to say, uh, before I start talking a bunch, if you already know what frame blocking is and you have the shots for it, and you just want to know how to do the masking effects in Vegas, skip to this time on the screen right now. Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Thanks a ton for the support on the last one, it did really well, so I'm back doing another one that I think is even more useful and has a more practical use to multiple people. So, I will be doing a tutorial on the frame blocking transition, which looks like this. Uh. Those were two examples of the frame blocking transition, as I'm calling it. I don't know if that's the correct term, but that's what I've seen a reference to in programs like Premiere, so that's what I'm going to be calling it for this tutorial. As you saw, this is a transition that is pretty much only used in vlogs, and it's called frame blocking because I have an example right here. You can see that the book that is uh, in this original part is just panning to the side. This right edge of the book is acts as a blocker for the frame that tr helps me transition into the next clip. So I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this in Sony Vegas. It's pretty pretty simple to do, just requires a bunch of masking. But um, you're going to need specific clips or record in a specific style if you want to do this effect. You're going to need some sort of panning shot and you're going to need a straight edge in a sense or a defining line that you want to mask and end your pan and start the next transition wherever it is. Okay, so we're going to say that we have uh, both of the clips that you want to transition together. This is just a regular horizontal pan and this is a vertical pan up. We're going to make these flow together Eh, pretty well, I think. Alright, so it's not as not as nice as some examples I've seen in Premiere, but I think it's okay for what Sony Vegas can do. Okay, so you're going to want to start with your first transition that you have the marker in, or the object that takes up part of the frame. You're going to want to go to Pan and Crop, and a couple things uh, you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make sure that the sync cursor is highlighted because you're going to be referencing your preview window over here while you mask and that will give you a real-time example of what's going on and what your final product will look like. And now you want to move your cursor and as you can see both frames are moving at the same time. You want to move your cursor to where the footage just starts appearing on the right side of the book because that's what I'm going to be cutting out. So I'm going to say that's about right here. Okay? Next create your mask. So I'm going to start out with a rectangle select tool. So we're going to go into mask by checking mask down here, enabling it, and then clicking the rectangle select tool. I'm going to create a mask around the entire frame of the video and just let go and that creates us a nice little grid here. Now I'm going to go to normal edit tool. Double click will put you in this just area where you can basically drag the anchor points. Now what you should start to see is that once you drag this anchor point to line up with the edge of the book, I'm just going to say book because that's my example in here. If you're doing this, it's whatever marker you're using. If um, You'll see over in the preview window that it turns black and it has this straight edge. Now personally for me, since this is a transition, I like to have things look a lip uh, look a bit more blurred. So what I'm going to do is actually turn the feather type up to about 12 and that will blur the edge as you can see. Make sure if you want feather type you apply it now because then it will apply automatically for the rest of the frames we mask. If you don't, which I made the mistake of at first, if you don't you would have to go back to every single individual frame, which there's going to be a lot of, and apply the feather effect for every single one, which takes up a lot of time. So from here the process is pretty simple but can take some time. You basically just want to drag these points so that they don't allow any of the footage beyond the book to appear it's to the right of it. So you just keep dragging these points to match up with the side of the book, referencing the preview window because that's what your because that's what your final product will look like. 
And uh, what you can actually do is if you hold shift and click on both of these anchor points, you can drag them sort of as a, oh, whoops, sorry. You can drag them together, they'll lock together and you can drag them, which makes it easier to handle than dragging, having to separately drag each one. So I'm gonna go through, keyframe all of this up and I'll talk to you guys when I'm back. All right, so once you have your entire video keyframed in, what you should actually be able to see once you scroll through all the different keyframes is that the black mask follows the right side of the book as the book disappears from frame, and it should make it all the way and then disappear into black. Perfect. So you can, you know, adjust individual keyframe masks if you see anything off, you can go in and do that later. But I think it's fine for now, I'm not going to nitpick. So let's adjust our video clips so we can bring them together into a seamless transition. How about that? So for the second transition, it's just a quick vertical pan up for some from some grass or something in my front yard. So what I did was I just cut the tr actual moving transition part out, dragged it out here. For the first transition, the first video clip of the transition, I should say, I just cut out this part where the masks the mask starts appearing because that's where I'm going to line up my video clip underneath. So as you'll notice though, they are not the same length in time. The second video ends, the second transition ends a lot sooner than the first. We can fix that though by holding control on our keyboard so we see time stretch and just stretching this so that it fits and uh, they line up. So now we should have a rough version of the frame blocking transition. Let's watch it. Alright, so yeah, that's how it should look. Uh, as you can see, this original part is slower and that looks sped up and rushed. So you can mess around by speeding up this actual pan part here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I'm doing things like that. So that's the basic masking idea of it, is the creating a mask that cuts out this part of the first video and underneath it you can just place this. You can add special things such as zooms, motion blur on this track here. You can add motion blur uh, and you can add ra radial blur or whatever to try to fancy it up. You can do coloring effects. So one thing that might look a little better on the second one is if maybe we zoom in a little. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to go into the pan and crop for the second video part. And we're going to, let's see here, we're gonna drag our cursor all the way to the end. We're gonna zoom in a little on the pan and crop. All right, so what we'll get is something that looks a bit like this. It zooms in a little, but as you'll see, the this second part where it stays still will revert back to the original. So what we actually do is go back to the pan and crop, copy the keyframe that has the zoomed in window and just go into the pan and crop for the second one and paste it at an, in the beginning. So you drag out the first one, right click, paste, and then you delete this one. Okay, so how does that look? I think that looks a little better. The whole zooming motion transition I think I like a little better. Yeah, and if you want to, you can even speed it up even more than this actual transition is. I think I might want to do that just to see how it looks. So we'll speed up everything just by holding control and dragging the clips. And that might look a little too artificial. You can mess around with the timing of everything. That's completely uh, an individual perspective on how you think different things look. And then once you do that, you can just, uh, once you finish that, you can time the beat of whatever my vlog music you have in the background with it, so. I don't know, I think it looks okay. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I know this was a longer tutorial, but I hope, I hope that it was at least kind of cohesive. This is probably the first tutorial I've done that's been longer, and uh, it's more complex so if I missed anything or you have any confusion on anything just tell me in the comments and I will definitely help you out as quickly as I can but yeah this has been my tutorial on how to do the frame blocking transition in Sony Vegas I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video bye